introducing Representative Edie Agello, who for many years was my representative, I can truly say that it's an honor. She has been a stalwart in the House of Representatives, working on issues related to gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, civil rights since the 1990s, when it was much more difficult to do so. So put your hands together for an icon. probably before a number of you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy then encouraged me to get involved in repealing Rhode Island's sodomy law. We haven't stopped working together. There have been little periods where we weren't working so hard. But um, this is something that has become very important to me. And one of the ways that it became important to me was at that hearing on the House side, 83 people signed up to testify on our bill. Only one signed up to testify against. You'll hear in a few moments from Chairman McNamara, the chair of the House Health Education and Welfare Committee, who was good enough to sign on as a co-sponsor on this legislation and chaired the hearing that we had a couple months ago. Um, he's been very patient and he's been very supportive and just before we even hear from him today, I'd like to give him a round of applause. <laughs> when he told me that a young man um, involved, that she met involved with youth pride, who said, if conversion therapy worked, I wouldn't be here now. Because going out every day into the world, going to school, going to work, interacting with people in his community, the negative re reaction to who he was should have been enough to convert him if conversion therapy worked, if he could be converted. That was so moving to me that a young person would feel so strongly, describe their own life, and be asking for help in this way. Contrast that. One young person asking for our help, saying, this doesn't work, with all of the nation's leading professional medical and mental health associations opposing this practice. We've heard from the American Psychological Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, American Medical Association, American Academy of Pediatrics, National Association of Social Workers, American Counseling Association, American School Counselor Association, American Academy of Nursing, the United Nations Human Rights Council. Who else do we have to hear from? <laughs> We've heard from young people and older people who have been impacted by this practice, negatively, of course. And we've heard from the professionals. Let's get this done. 